I'm not a morning person. I'm dedicated to being passionate about it. Bodybuilders have become more lazy. People have always thought I lift fake weights. Iran and the United States. You take, you take responsibility for that. Do you follow the new school of bodybuilders? And do any names stand out to you who you feel like are gonna be, you know, be champions in the future? It all depends on how, you know, some people, they get a little attention and then they hit the gas literally literally and figuratively and then they crash and burn so mm -hmm. there's some great physiques i think i think um there's four or five guys that you know if they stay in their lane you know because you gotta understand there's a pecking order you know what i'm saying you can hopscotch someone but they have to open leave the door open for you so i think a lot of guys if they just stay in their lane focus on their physique there's quite a few awesome physiques I'm not great with everybody's name yet. I, I know him by face because I'm a fan, but um, yes, there's some really awesome physiques out there that, that just need to just, like I say, stay in their lane because this is definitely a marathon. It's not a sprint. You know, when, when Big Rami came along, you know, man, we saw that more is not better. I mean, bigger is not necessarily better. I mean, and now I would love to see him dialed in probably about 285 almost almost caved in which 285 would be kind of caved in for him and mm -hmm. i'm telling you he would change he would, he would change his total physique i've been over to kuwait you can literally get as big as you want to over there <laughs> when i was over there i literally i gained 25 pounds every single wow. time i went now we only stayed you know 10 days was as long as i ever stayed but you in 10 days you gained that much wrong bro I mean, but you're talking about leaving the show. So I go to the show. And I'm, I mean, I did the last 10 years of my career, I did all clean rebounds. So I literally go back on my program and I can, you know, I, that's why I competed so much. It was just easier to stay in shape than to get, you know, out of shape and go back. But, um, yeah, you know, they, you know, they got, they got, man, they got so many different types of equipment and so, you know, you got everything over there. You literally, you know, I call that like an incubator type situation. I created that same scenario up in Seattle, Washington in 2008, 9, and 10, and 11. That's why, I, that's when I made the most progress during that time. I was spending, you know, three or four months up in the woods in Seattle, in Shinohomish. And um, all I did was eat, sleep, and train 24 hours a day. And it makes a difference. So